Hey guys, what's going on? It's a Tenacious Gamer, and today is Wednesday, meaning another Call of Duty video, but it's not one of the more modern Call of Duties. This is actually quite an old Call of Duty. It's a course Call of Duty World at War, and today I'm showcasing this game specifically because I want to convince you guys to potentially buy the game or potentially just give it a look and uh, see what you guys think of the game. If you've never played it before, I, then I, you need to pick it up and play it. If you have played it before, then maybe you know, maybe you want to pick it up, but you just thought maybe it's quite an old game. Rest assured. I rest assured. I don't know what the fuck that saying is, but I can assure you guys that uh, this guy, this game, this guy, this game is definitely, definitely worth buying, especially for the fucking price. The price of the game I picked up for £7, which is like $9. Um, I reckon the game is definitely, definitely still worth it. Right now, what you're going to be seeing on screen is, of course, some of the gameplay from the campaign. And, uh, of course, this campaign is actually my second most favourite Call of Duty campaign, of course, behind... Uh, Modern Warfare 2, this is my second favourite Call of Duty campaign. Of course the graphics haven't aged that well over the years, but the gameplay itself is still magnificent. Some of you guys might disagree with me, maybe you think that the, that the gameplay, the graphics for a game this old are phenomenal. Um, I think they're decent, I think they're decent, don't get me wrong guys. But, um, of course, they could have been just a tiny, tiny bit better. I just want to point out one other thing, guys. I was actually not using a graphics card when I actually picked this game up. And I was still able to play this game off my motherboard to onboard video. And it ran around 25 to 39, 40 frames per second. Which, of course, if you've not got a graphics card, that's actually pretty decent. Um, especially if you're just looking to have a bit of fun. Or, of course, if you're new to PC gaming, but you don't know what graphics card to pick up. Or if you're unsure on whether you should pick a graphics card up or not. Because you're not sure if you're fully committed to making this change to PC gaming. Maybe this is a game you can pick up. Because you've got the single player. And you've got our next topic multiplayer and you've also got zombies but without further ado we're going to move on to multiplayer and I'm going to tell you guys why if you don't have a graphics card this can be a great gateway into PC gaming. Okay guys so on the screen right now you will see a server list that I went through and this recording was from Monday at 11 o'clock in the morning so you're thinking at 11 o'clock in the morning, no one is going to be on that game, especially on a Monday. But you guys are, you guys are wrong. There is so many people playing this game on the multiplayer. It's it's unbelievable. Even I was blown away by it. I went thinking that there was going to be barely anyone on it. But no, as you can see, there is still a crap ton of people playing it. And of course, I've skipped on from those server lists and um, into, into some actual gameplay and you'll see that the gameplay is still pretty it's still looking pretty crisp to me of course it's nothing it's not going to be as crisp as things like Battlefield 1 and games like that but it is it is very very good for the time it was made and of course the game is like seven eight nine years old now so yeah the game for me has aged pretty well and to still see the vast number of players, I don't know if vast is the right word, but the huge amount of players still on these servers playing multiplayer is amazing. So if you guys did love the multiplayer back in the day, you can actually come back to this game on PC, play it, enjoy yourselves, relive some of those moments, and of course, just, yeah, just enjoy yourself, as I've already said. But... Moving on to the zombies. As you guys will see on screen right now, we do have the zombies menu. I have not paid for 
any of these zombie maps. You get them all for free when you buy it on PC nowadays. Um, and of course there is transition modded zombies. Yes guys there is modded zombies and as you can see the guns I am using in this zombies are actually not from World at War and of course that's because it's modded and someone's actually modded the game to give you I think this is like Black Ops 2 weapons I'm, I'm really wrong because I'm using that Peacekeeper gun I don't think that was from Black Ops 2 uh, I can't remember to be honest um, what game it's from but yeah you, you have loads of modded maps um, on like zombies and also on the multiplayer which is to me anyway is actually dope because it means that if you're if you're sitting there and you sit thinking like mm, I've played Derise like three or four times and you're like no nah, I want to do I want to play another map you've got all of those four maps to play from the four original zombies maps the four that actually made the franchise of zombies of what it is today but then you've also got modded zombies so you can go on the internet you can download all these different modded zombies maps and then you can play through those with your friends and also online if you see that no one's playing a game mode that you're playing of course there is actually mods for that uh, and they are called bots and the bots you're thinking like black ops 3 bots these guys are actually a little bit smarter than that I've got to say and of course you can adjust the difficulty of the bots if they are a bit too hard for you or a bit too easy you can change difficulty and you can play different game modes which to me anyway is pretty dope especially for a game this old you're getting a lot for the money you pay and it's definitely worth a pickup hopefully you guys will agree with me if you didn't comment down in the comment section below and I will get back guys, to you. Guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, please smash that like button, comment, and as always, subscribe. I've been the Tenacious Gamer, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.